Hello everyone, welcome to my Microsoft SD2 interview experience. So first of all, tell, let me tell you who I am. Uh, so currently I'm working as a SD2 at mid-level pro product-based company. So uh, let me start off with telling you how this all started. So uh, I received an email on LinkedIn from Microsoft recruiter. Uh, that uh, telling me that he is interested in my profile and he has an opening where he would like me to interview and he wanted me to share the updated resume and one thing to be noted i was neither open to work nor i was interviewing in any other company at that time well everyone knows that this is a recession right so and i'm pretty much happy with the current work that i'm doing so post that I'll seeing that I never interviewed with Microsoft before, so I quickly shared my resume and not thinking about the outcome. So once I shared my resume, uh, uh, after around two days, I received a call from the recruiter. So uh, there were several questions that he asked that what all my work looked like and what all have worked already and which... Uh, uh, and he was specifically hiring for Microsoft Azure. So he asked me that which department would I be interested in. So I just uh, uh, told him that I would be interested in storage. And they had an opening with storage as well in Microsoft Azure. So he mapped me with the Microsoft uh, storage. So once that was done, so I applied to the link that he shared. And then once that all was done, then he shared me an online assessment. So coming on to the online assessment, uh, there was basically three parts in the online assessment. The first part was a DSA question. So it was a fairly medium level DSA question. So I was able to solve that. Next question was basically, this is something that I saw for the first time. There was code that was already there. And then I was supposed to fix the bug in that code, right? And it was based on binary search. So uh, there was multiple changes that were required. And it was written that uh, you have only four um, cases, four place, four lines that you need to change. And uh, where there is a bug, right? And then... Uh, and uh, it was a quadrilateral test and I cannot even test it. So I just, whatever I felt that was wrong there, I just changed that. And uh, I moved on to the third question and that was a design question. Basically there was, uh, all, code was already there. So there was one API that I was supposed to implement and then test out the entire code that was given. So that all was about online assessment. So once my online assessment was done, I got the feedback from the recruiter that my uh, online assessment was good and I qualified that. But post that, I never got a call about the schedule or my interview. So I keep on checking on him that uh, when would be my next rounds and how would that all look like, right? So after a few days, like around 20, 25 days, I received a call from him saying that there's uh, the profile that I was um I, uh, I was supposed to interview interview has already closed so once uh, then he said that will i be interested in azure compute right so uh, i said that okay any any of the department would work it's not that i'm looking for a certain uh, department uh, of cloud so he said that okay then you will receive a call from one of my recruiting team members to schedule your interviews so after a week i received a call from one of the recruiter on the timelines of the interview so she said that all the interviews would be done in a single day and uh, there would be like if i qualify the dsa rounds then only i will be moving forward to high level design round and uh, okay let me tell you that how, how um, let me tell you the rounds uh, that was there. So there was uh, basically uh, four rounds that was to be conducted. Round one, uh, round one was DSA. Second round was also DSA. And the third round was high level design. And the final round was hiring manager. Okay. So once uh, everything was finalized, so I got to the interview day. So let me just explain you that uh, how all it went. So round one was DSA. So we started off with a small intro about each other. So once that was done, he then asked me a question that what is the most challenging thing that I have ever done in my entire 
career so i explain and what are the problems that i have solved so recently i have solved some problems so i explained him that and the entire so he had some question around it then i answered those suppose that we moved on to the dsa part uh, because my first round was dsa so this was the first question that i was asked uh, so it was lead code 973 k closest point to origin so i qu- quickly told him that this could be solved by priority queue and um, he agreed to it then we um, i discussed the time and space complexity of it and he was pretty much happy with it and he asked me to code that out so i coded i quickly coded that out and then he asked me to write a production ready code so he asked me that what all changes would you do if this code was if we were supposed to push this change to production so then i thought some some new things and then uh, some exceptional handling was required and multiple things i just added over there then i said that logging would be required uh, so multiple things on that part i just told him verbally and some of the things i just changed in my code and then he was pretty much happy with everything and then post that uh, he shared me another question once we were done with the first question so in the in the second question it was it is also lead code question 63 unique path 2 so there was not much time left we were left with only 10 minutes and uh, he also wanted to preserve some time for me to ask some questions so he asked me that okay just tell me the approach that you will use for this so i just quickly told him the dp approach that was there in my mind because i already solved this question so then uh, we just discuss the uh, and then i also asked him that i can code this out uh, in just two three minutes but he was like no no i'm happy with the approach that you are telling me and i'm more interested in the approach than the code so once this was done we moved on then he said that uh, if i have more time then he was interested in asking me some more questions so he asked me some sorting algorithm time space and complex he asked me that how many sorting algorithms do i know and then he asked that uh, particularly what is time and space complexity and what would what is the worst case complexities of those so uh, post that he asked me which sorting algorithm is better quick sort or more sort and then why so we discussed uh, over that and then that's all uh, that was asked in my first round so uh, according to me it went well and the interviewer was really happy with uh, both of my approaches and everything looked fine so once that was done then my my next interview was scheduled after 2 3 hours so i just uh, happily went to the my second round which was also a dsa round so the first question that he asked me was that given a linked list how would you actually copy a linked list uh linguless with the next pointer so uh, i quickly told him the solution then he asked me to write the solution code it out so i coded it out and then i was also uh, asked to uh, provide the input as input as well to my function so i did that and then he gave me a follow up question uh, which is lead code 138 copy list with random pointer so in this question first of all i gave him the hash map uh, uh, solution that is there so uh, he was not pretty much happy with it then he asked me to optimize it further on this space so i struggled a bit because i didn't solve it earlier and it was really new to me at that time and i have seen this question really really long back so the solution was not there in my head so uh, i struggled a bit but somehow i was able to do this question as well um so once we completed this question he moved on to ask he asked me that uh, uh, can you make this function thread safe and what all step will you use to make it thread safe so we just discussed on the solution that was there in my mind and then post that he also co- asked me question around memory allocation in java so uh, this round was pretty much average i would say and then uh, we moved on to the third round which was a, a so yeah one more thing if you qualify the dsa rounds then only you will move on to the high level design round um, um, so uh, post that uh, uh, i also got a invite for high level design so i joined the high level design uh, and it was done in the same day for me so so in the design round i was asked this question design a task scheduler that is accept a task 
and run the task n number of times in given time interval so basically he um, so uh, the question was not that clear uh, even it won't be clear at this point because this is something that we have and uh, this is not very classic question right task schedule is but uh, this certain this one it was not a classic question suppose that he so i did the okay we'll have one um, so i started with uh, functional and non functional uh, requirements and then we discussed upon that and then we start then pose that uh, he asks me about the microservices that i would use i just draw the microservices then he asks me to write down the uh, schema relational database schema that i would be using and what all tables it would have then we discussed over it and then we finalized all the tables that i would be coming up with and then pose that he wanted to tell me the entire data flow of the um, design that i have prepared so uh, i explained to him that as well so once everything was done he started uh, so when that was done we were done with this uh, design round pose that he started with uh, os questions and operating system i just read it in the college and after that i never went uh, uh, with that so he asked me what is virtual virtual memory some of the question that i remember so one is virtual memory then he asked me about cpu uh, core multi process core uh, inter process communication so these were some of the question that he asked and all of these questions were based on operating system so i would say this was pretty much uh, average for me um, but yeah i was happy with this round because this was the first ever high level design round that i have done in my entire life so once this was done so um, what happened next like you would be waiting right did i call the hiring manager round or not suppose that uh, i tried to reaching out to the recruiter but recruiter so i assumed that i was rejected because i didn't received any further call or information from microsoft so um, i might be rejected but i was really happy with the interview experience that i had and my first ever high level design round and the discussion it was really i was really happy with the uh, high level design round um, um, a rejection are difficult to handle but uh, it took me like a day or two but i was okay with it and then there's one thing that i always tell myself i will only fail when i give up so i i'll keep on trying uh, and i'll keep on learning and improving and one day i'll get what i want to and that's all from my interview experience if you like anything about the experience that i've shared please hit a like button and subscribe to my channel thank you